today's video I thought I would do my best and worst makeup so far in 2024 which will start with the worst this palette this is a highlight and sculpt palette from Makeup Revolution and it's what it looks like on the inside I don't love this like I don't mind the highlighter it's just a little bit too dark I think but it is relatively nice. I just don't really like the bronzers. Like, I just do not like these bronzers. I think it's because they're pigmented than what I'm used to. They're not like really buildable bronzers. As opposed to these are quite pigmented. I never find they no matter which brush brush I use, they will look not nice or apply that nice. Just this way I can put in dirt on my face. It's fine for travel. Or I'll use it on for the highlighter. But I don't know if once the highlighter's up I will continue to use this palette. It just looks like dirt on my face with contour shade. I don't contour, I don't like how it looks. It just looks like I'm putting dirt on my face. The bronzer shade, I don't like much better. Like, this is not my favourite thing, other than the highlighter, but I do love it. Like, that just made everything look a bit dirty. Like, now. Then we have, for the worst, is the Glow and Fix. The Nature Fixing Spray. It's fine for travel. It's easy as a bit. It smells disaster. smells disgusting. Like, ugh, no, not even going to spray it because it does not smell nice at all. That's how it sounds because that's how little I've used it. Like, but no. Moving into my favourites, like my favourite setting spray is my lasting fixing spray. Like, this is my favourite setting spray. Like, it fixes my makeup and it doesn't smell disgusting. Like, that smells disgusting, this doesn't smell, which I like not being able to smell it. I haven't got like a ton left of this, but I am really liking it. Like this, I've repurchased. Like this, I will be repurchasing. In terms of sunscreen, like this has been my favourite sunscreen. The Sultan Protect and Moisturise. I have a one mini one for my bag, and this has been the one I've been using. This is Factor 50. Like, I've been loving this, like, it's a nice sunscreen to use. It's actually nice on my skin. Like, it's good if you've got skin that really does not like sunscreen and that. I find, like, my skin really just doesn't like sunscreen. Like, my skin really just doesn't like it. It makes me itch. But this one doesn't, so I have been liking it. Uh, all time favourite that will be in every favourite video, probably. My Barry M Lidlock Primer. Like, I've been repurchased this so many times. Like, I even have an empty going in my empties video. Because I love it. Like, it's such a good, like, it has a bit of a tint, but it, and it can work for, like, cut creases. It can work as a layer it works with any shadow like if you want a good affordable primer for your eyes recommend this something else from Barry M I've been trying is the Infix grip primer this is like the elf power grip primer in a sense it's another gripping primer really been liking this like it's caramel extract Olive e extract and vitamin B F. 
bloody very good. Like, really been liking it. Like, keeps my makeup in place. Like, if I want to trust my makeup, this primer I've been using. So I've really been liking it. Then, for my best of, we have these two e.l.f. lip oils. I've been loving them. Like, this one I keep in my drawer, the one I want to use. This one I keep on my top, ready for, like, every night I apply this lip oil. Or during the day when I'm not wearing any makeup, or before putting on liquid lipstick. Like, this has been something that works for my lips. I've just been loving lip oils, like I prefer them, like that's how much I've used. I use this a lot, like this goes into like my nighttime skincare routine and stuff. I'm gonna put it back. Get propped up. Then another favourite lip oil has been the, which I did use before putting on my lip gloss, is the Oh My Gloss by Rimmel. These smell incredible. Like, I love the smell of Rimmel's makeup. Their lip products smell incredible. Like, I'd want to try one of their liquid lipsticks, but I have got quite a few to use of liquid lipsticks. It's like this, and it's Huda Elevos is the shade this is like a pinky one really doesn't show that much tint but i do like it keeps my lips nice like whenever i go in my drawer and want a lip oil this one's in my favorite foundation has been the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless foundation i am in the shade Cole Freud. I'd normally be fair, but they didn't have fair, so I like went for. I love the packaging of this. Like, this is my favourite packaging. I just love like, doing this. But this is my foundation for when I want to trust my makeup. Like, if I need to trust my foundation, which I have at least twice this week where I need to trust my foundation, two days I need to trust it, I will be wearing this. But this I can trust, it will not look orange. Looks nice, it's a very good shade. I wasn't sure if this was going to be the right shade, but it's like a very nice shade. Like, I've been enjoying it. And it looks nice on top of everything else. I either apply with a brush or a sponge. Then, my most used favourite foundation is my... Maybelline 30 hour active wear. This is the wrong shade, so I mix it with the Max Factor 3 in 1 All Day Flawless Concealer. It's a primer, concealer, and foundation, and I'm in C10 Fair Porcelain. I've been liking mixing these two together. Like, these two give like the perfect base. I have it on today. I've been liking it because this one I love, but it's orange. Initially, I do sometimes go a bit orange still, so I do just sort of, if I need to trust my makeup, don't wear this one, but it's like a very good foundation, like, gives nice coverage. Like, I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, but I then tried it and I was like, I really like this. Like, I tried the concealer first before the foundation, but then I was like, I do actually like this. Then we have this blush, which I've been loving this blush. This has been like my only and favourite powder blush. This is the H&M Oh My Blush Press Powder Blush, formulated with vitamin E. But it has a mirror. And this is an orange, which I did not think I would be a fan of orange blush, but I've been really sort of getting into it. Just going to put some over the top of my ring but it's like so nice like it is a blush i wear when i want to trust my makeup because it is a powder like i find powder i trust so much better than liquid like i have dry skin but i do get quite sweaty and quite oily when i'm moving like i can do five steps and sweat like no joke 
so this is quite good probably why i do like this foundation is because it's quite good it's like good for like sweat resistance and that it would just be even nicer in a better shade then it would probably be my holy grail in the right shade i think i'm shade two and then this skin tint i've actually used a fair amount like we are getting towards the bottom but i've been quite enjoying it like yeah it's a shade too dark but i make it work and it looks nice this is a skin tint i probably wouldn't recommend this if you're like really really oily because i do have to set this down and if i'm like moving a lot i generally don't tend to wear this but i've been really getting back into it do quite enjoy it i just sort of put it onto a brush like i don't like the pipette like pipetting it like I just do not like it like it sort of how this came about was that I didn't like the pipette was sort of I dripped it on my skin and it went down my t-shirt which was not for me my long-term favorite is Maybelline Sky High this is Cosmic Black the wand looks like this and it's like it's a very good lengthening mascara I wouldn't say if you want volume go for it it's not really the most volumizing mascara, but it's a good lengthening mascara. Kind of fits with like my lower lash line. Like this is quite a good brush for my lower lash line. But it is a very good lengthening mascara. If you obviously want volume, I wouldn't go for this. Then something else from Charlotte's Tilbury that I've been loving this wand it is quite messy but i do like it and i've been loving using it i just sort of use a sponge to blend it it's a very nice color it's the shade spotlight i like all these goldy toned highlighters and things like i don't really go for anything else I think I am that boring person that just does not wear any other colour but gold. Then we have my favourite bronzer, the Rimmel Natural Bronzer. I would say get this bronzer. It's like so nice, like it just gives a bronze, it doesn't make me look dirty like some do. Like some really just make me look dirty and I'm like, I'm not going for that look. Like I'm going for a bronze to make me look like I've been on holiday. Like I would go for this over this. Like this is so much better. Like it's very natural. So I maybe would go a shade up. Like I'm 002 Sun Bronze. Lash glue, my favourite lash glue. is the Isle Lord London Lash Glue. This lash glue is so good. It's also latex free, so if you don't want to use a glue with latex or have a latex allergy, this is a great latex free lash glue and you can like get it in Superdrug. Like it is such good glue, like it looks like this. It's very easy to apply the false lashes to. Like, I don't have a trouble with this glue. My favourite eyeliner pencil is the Barry M ones. Like, this one I've had to sharpen. Like, that's how much I use them. So I do regularly have to sharpen them. But they're just so good. Like, I really enjoy using them. Like, they're so nice. Like, you do have to sharpen them a lot, quite often, but... Brings me on to another favourite. This is my favourite pencil sharpener. This is the Barry M pencil sharpener. I've been loving this pencil sharpener. Like, I really enjoy it. Such a good sharpener. Like, you have two ends. One for the bigger pencils and one for the smaller ones. I just use this hole here. In terms of smelling nice makeup, this is such a nice gloss. Like, this is the Frill Seeker gloss. It's like a fruity gloss. Like this has been like such 
such a nice gloss like it smells divine like i love it i've been loving this gloss another one of my favorite rimmel glosses is don't know if i can find it somewhere do a declassy tidy video in a bit so I found this one so I will probably find where I got this gloss and sort them out much better because I actually can't find anything in this drawer But it is the Rimmel Oh My Gloss gloss. I love that gloss, it smells so nice. It's such a nice pinky colour gloss. I don't really do that much nude. Like, I really don't do a ton of nude glosses. But this is quite a nice one. Like, this is probably my favourite um, nude gloss. Check me wearing a nude. Like I never wear a nude gloss. Ever. Nude anything like this favourite that I never thought would be my favourite is the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. Like that is the shade I've gone for, like this. Red hot season is like a bricky red orangey, more leaning of a nude orange than a nudie ready orange than a true red like I used to have. Which brings me on to my favourite lipstick. Like this favourite is like a favourite I didn't expect to have, but this is like my all time holy grail. And that is the Maybelline lips super stay matte ink lipsticks. Like these are so good. Like if I want to trust the lipstick, I'm gonna wear this. Another favourite liquid lip is the H&M liquid lips, like this one's an orangey colour, very different but I've been liking these, like I'm that person that loves a liquid lipstick, dried out, drying formula, like that will be where my heart is at. And I found the gloss, this is the Oh My Gloss gloss, like it's such a nice gloss, like so it's well used. Like this is such a nice gloss, like I love the colour. Then my favourite eyeshadow palette is the NUA Professional Peacock. Like this is my colour story, like I love the colours, I don't use the browns as much. Other than really to do my eyebrows, like I just don't really use a lot of brown, like it doesn't pop my eyes. Other colours do. I've also been liking the NUA Bright Lust palette, this is another favourite. I just love the neon colours and stuff, like neon colours have been my thing. And this is a, another favourite eyeshadow palette, the Sofax Revolution. Like you have every colour you could possibly want, like your colours, your neutrals, your transition shades, eyeliner colour, deepening up colours and just anything. Like everything you need is just in that one palette. So that's everything in my favourites. I've got other stuff I like, I just need a lot more time. Favourite bullet lipstick as well, before we finish this video up, is the Nature Nam. This is more of a comfort matte and this is in the shade Coral Fixation. Like this is my favourite because it does dry down like to a fair amount. Like this is my favourite. Probably it has this magnetic packaging that I just keep doing this as well. Also, I will add in my favourite bougie purchase as well is my Chanel gloss. Like, this is such a nice ready gloss colour. Like, I love it. Like, I'm loving this. 
but this is probably like my first luxury luxury like this is the rouge cocoa gloss like i love it like this chanel gloss i love so i hope you've enjoyed these favorites and i will see you in my next video bye